Festbase is a European-wide research project that examines how festivals and events affect the inclusiveness of public spaces. For the London-based part of the project, we've been focusing in particular on parks, and we've been focusing our research on one park in particular, Finsbury Park in North East London, the park I'm standing in today. This park stages a wide variety of festivals and events every year. Some of these festivals and events are quite contested, some are seen as quite exclusive. But our research revealed that one event was consistently seen as making a positive contribution to Finsbury Park, and that event is Latino Life in the Park, formerly known as La Clave Fest. over there and then as I'm new to London I thought it would be kind of good to kind of jump in and yeah. nice. so I met lots of people uh, just like the atmosphere enjoyed the music enjoyed the, all the smells of the food got one ceviche, nice. ceviche. we just Friendly. met today and we've been friends since like 10 years ago and we were best friends before that. <laughs> and we met for first day. That's why he said the atmosphere is great because we, we are reunited. You know, much better than yeah, yeah, unity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Damn, I think big. it's a good party. I uh, the the videos I saw on YouTube before I had to come here to prepare. I saw some great dancing, great music. <laughs> One of the principles, I think, is that it's a really good platform to expose and to share our culture to everyone and to, fo and to show how we are proud of our group. our identity, our culture, and obviously we are here to share with everyone.
Instagram and then I thought, oh, you know what, it's just down the road from my house. Came all the way here, just going just now. So, um, yeah, it was, um, I'm really liking the outcome of it. There's so many people here, so many food, different flavours I'm seeing and smelling. Without the festival, I wouldn't come to a park. So I'm just coming to the park because there's a festival. Salsa, we have reggaeton, we have samba from Brazil, you know, we have uh, Peruvian um, country music as well. Oh. Well, we've just arrived and it's pretty buzzing, it's happening, um, a lot of dancing going on, but no, it's great. <laughs> event it's free and we haven't we're not locked up into in a in an area with hoarding all the way around um, and trampling on top of each other like sardines which is what happens quite a lot in this area in, in, in Finchley Park we've just had uh, two weekends of a Crank Brother festival which is trance music and they've just wrecked on that whole back area probably four or five acres awful it's all mud now, instead of grass. Uh, it's nice to have these community events. It's very nice to have somewhere that's easy going and friendly and doesn't cost 70 pounds a ticket to get in, to hear Latin American music. Uh, this is a lot more open, but uh, I think it brings a lot. It's free admission as well. Free admission as well, which is great. It gets a lot more people involved. and. Uh, no one's put off by the price, so we get everyone down it. I 
Messi has is open for everybody to come in, whether it's friends and family, kids, people to come together and, and join as well. Because obviously, due what's due to what's been going on, so it's kind of like people putting people at ease and also making some income for them as well. And also enjoying dancing, having different multicultural food as well. So it's, I think it's good for the community as well. So these stages, um, the mobile stages, so they come on the back of a, a 4x4 um, and it takes one person approximately two hours to build it. So rather than having lots of crew and lots of time on site and needing to be there for a couple of days or anything like that, it can all happen the day of the event and then come down either the day after or, the, or on the evening of the event as well. The main thing that makes Latino life in the park um, inclusive is the fact that it's free. So there are very few free festivals uh, where everybody can come. There's no gates, there's no fencing, there's no big walls. Uh, literally, you can just kind of walk in and you have this amazing day of music, culture. And I think that makes the atmosphere really special because everyone's in a really great mood because it's kind of unexpected and they're just like wow you know what's this going on and that's just it's a kind of a feeling of wonderment it's just a really nice atmosphere because everyone who comes comments on the vibe the amazing vibe and i think the fact that it's free does contribute to that because well you don't have people complaining <laughs> so much it's like why am i not getting this why am i not getting that it's it's literally like oh my god you know this is all happening and it's for free um the other thing that makes it inclusive i think is it's there's something about latin americans latino culture that is really inclusive 
Um, we basically, maybe it's because we're kind of immigrant societies that, you know, it's really a melting pot um, that you have, you know, Latin Americans come in all shapes, sizes and colors. So I think everyone feels that they can belong in, in a strange way. Um, it's, it's a very, you know, celebratory culture, it's full of joy, and so there's nothing kind of aggressive about it, there's nothing intimidating. Um, yeah, so I think also the culture makes it really inclusive. I think in environments like, like, in, like Prince Park, it's easier. I think the park gives you that feeling that you are free, so people are open to communicate with each other and to embrace not only culture, music, not only that, but food. It shows the best of the Latin American culture, a festivity of celebrating. This year, I will say, it represented the best of the, all the events. First of all, because we came from a very long lock, lockdown. Um, but in terms of content, the organizers did something very interesting, is to put uh, different stages and manage to put together different generation, not just because it's not just Latino and British or international, but as well different ages. And that was interesting because for instance, the main, uh, main stage had a super music um, salsa band that is one of the first uh, all star amazingly excellent musicians that are um, Latino, but they live all of them in the UK, so fantastic. And then they have another one which showcases all the second generation, all the um, hip hop, all the rappers, and amazingly excellent musicians. They had something they call uh, another stage called Intimo, where well, you have classic, then you showcase all this beauty of the Latino music that is not salsa, merengue, as I said, it shows the variety and as well was very well received by the audience. Because I'm uh, part of the local community, I have always shared the concerns of all the residents of Finsbury Park who really dislike the fencing that happens around a lot of the commercial festivals. Um, because it's not just fencing, it's these kind of high walls. You come into the park and suddenly there's like a high wall and it makes you, it's, it's quite aggressive in a way. And so for us, from the very beginning, it was an absolute no. Um, and the fact that it's free, we don't need fencing. I mean, I mean, there are a lot of issues with having a free festival. Uh, you know, the main one is funding. Um, so we have at times thought about how can we finance this? How can we better finance it? How can we get more benefits out of it being free? And so we have kind of toyed with the fact of having some kind of fencing. But I think in the end, uh, just you either have it or you don't have it. Even if you kind of half have it, then, you know, you might as well have proper fencing. So, so for us, that's always been, um, you know, one of the kind of, how do you say, the, the no-go areas. Um, and yeah, we just have to find other ways to fund it rather than ticket the event.